Burned to death in the Metro East and this afternoon police have identified a man they are calling a suspect. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Claire Kellett. This all happened just before 730 this morning at the O'Fallon Family Sports Park. That's just off of Oberneferman Road. News 4's Emma Hogue was first to report on this story at noon. She has followed the developments for us throughout the day. This afternoon she is live at the O'Fallon Police Department. Clear investigators just wrapped up a press conference here about 10 minutes ago. We're learning that the victim and suspect were husband and wife. Still, a lot of this is a mystery, but right now police are saying the husband is armed and a possible danger to the community. Set on fire, then left for dead. Right now, police are looking for the person who killed 35 year old Sherry Billups feet from a family sports park. And I couldn't get out of the neighborhood at all. Investigators arrived just before 730 Monday morning to find Billups on fire alongside a burning car. Officers and bystanders tried to revive her, but she died on scene. Neighbor Thomas Warren says he heard sirens throughout the morning. It's absolutely disgusting to know that it happened so close. Right now, police are calling Billups husband, Andrew Montez, McKissick, a person of interest. He's believed to be driving this Chevy pickup with unknown Illinois plates. So during that press conference, we did learn that McKissick is no longer a person of interest. He is their suspect. Also new within the last 10 minutes, we're learning that he's being charged with aggravated battery of a peace officer. If you'd like to take a closer look at the pictures of his truck, we have him posted on our KMOV news app. But we also spoke with neighbors who saw that smoke, saw the flames coming from their homes as they were getting ready for work. We'll hear from them coming up all new tonight on News 4 at 5. For now, live from police headquarters, Emma Hogue, News 4. Emma, 